This is the Kenwood stereo system. This is a really nice stereo system. It's built uh, from 1989, so it's 12 years old now. It's in absolutely great condition. And I got it from my friend Elhami Manesh. He got it from his granddad, I believe. And he wasn't using it anymore, so he knew that I collected that stuff, so he gave it to me. Once again, thank you. This system is awesome. We'll take a look at each component. We have the audio receiver, which is actually a stereo amplifier, and a tuner, model KRF A4020. Down below, we have the compact disc or CD player, model DPF 1010. And all the way on the bottom we have the stereo dual cassette deck, model KXF W4010. This system is awesome. It sounds really really good, and it's in all in great shape. The cassette deck has still great belts. Everything works like it's just new, except I found some cat hair somewhere. That's because, well, Elhami Manish has some cats. So anyway. This um, amplifier has also electrical outlets for each component. And it's really interesting. And it has two switches here. Look at this. The power switch just basically disconnects everything from the mains. We press that, the standby light li li uh, lights up. If we then press this switch, as you can see, the amplifier has turned on and it also turned on the other equipment. Of course everything has separate power switches. As you can see. But I just left them on just because it's handy and everything is on. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play a cassette and this was Special Request by Elhami Manesh. an auto reverse cassette deck really really nice it's no really real time counters but let's enjoy the music I mean look at that it's just counting till 99 that's kind of strange but Alright, enough for that now. Next, we'll put in this blank cassette. And now we press high dubbing. Doesn't this sound funny? But this actually copies the cassette at dual speed and as we rewind this and then play it back it sounds normal as you can hear because it's now back in normal speed alright rewind this again
Now we'll put in the CD. Let's put it on play pause now and we select trunk six. And we also use the source selector on the amplifier to select CD. There we go. All right. Now we'll make a recording on a cassette. To do that, we press record and pause. And it's now in record mode. So we just play the CD. And we set the record levels. And on this deck, it's done by pressing the mode switch. And then you can use this control to actually adjust the levels. That's too loud, so you just. Also, these peak uh, meters are really handy because you can see where it's peaking. It stays on there, as you can see. So this is good, we press record. In order to go back to the time, we just press mode twice. We also have Dolby, as you can see, Dolby Noise Reduction, Dolby B, of course it won't focus, and we also have Dolby C. Wonder how that's gonna come out. Right. I'll just rewind it a little bit. And we turn back the tape here. And we'll play it back to see how it sounds with the noise reduction. The noise reduction comes in in about 10 seconds. You don't really notice much quality loss though. Now we are in Dolby C, but it really misses some treble now. So anyway, not the best noise reduction, but it can be useful sometimes. Like I've heard some really hissy tapes though. Alright, so next we're gonna have a look at the tuner in the amplifier which is really nice just turn on the off the cassette deck and CD player now and use the input selector and go to tuner I now have it set on radio 538 and it also has RDS which is nice also shows things like about traffic jams and weather and stuff like that at least here in Netherlands it does Let's take a look at some of the buttons here. We have speakers A, speakers B, mute, bass boost, and tape 2 monitor. And also we have balance. And this is really interesting because you have a second knob here called multi selector. Multi control actually. Alright. I'm gonna show you how this works balance and you can use this to actually adjust it and sound we can actually adjust like the bass and treble but in tuner mode it's also the station selector 
And here we have the auto. If we turn the auto off, we can just manually dial. And if we turn the auto on, it just looks for station. Like that. Well, if an, is that it is, if that isn't nice, I don't know, but it works really, really well. And I see we're almost up to the limit, so I think we have to shut this down now. So once again, Elhami Manesh, thanks, and I hope you enjoyed this video.